Well, well, would you look at that? I was right all along. Is anyone there? What, what do you want? No, please, don't! I think we have murder! Murder! I'm your Gibbs, and welcome to all of you. We're going to be playing Dead Reckoning number 3, the Crescent Case. I have played all of the Dead Reckoning games already. I don't know if they're necessarily connected, to be honest with all of you, but that's okay. We're going to have some fun regardless. Uh, I'm actually going to show you something really cool. So as I was kind of getting this organized this morning, I was checking things out. Oh, and by the way, before I get too far into this, I want to say hello to all you folks that are watching me play this live. That's right, over there at Hitbox, over there at Twitch, over there at YouTube, live. I do this every Saturday, folks. You're missing out if you're not here right now. You're watching this afterwards on YouTube. Oh, well, that is life, isn't it? But what I wanted to share with you folks is check out this more games. I really like this. Check this out. So you've got a bunch of people here, right? And... So if I click on Final Cut, which by the way, Final Cut was the first game that Epix actually released. And then it shows you all of the different Final Cuts. And I'm assuming when you click this, it goes to the Big Fish Games website. But, um, you know, you can kind of cycle through. I thought this was clever. I really thought this was a neat way to highlight all your previous games. And for those of you that aren't familiar with all of these games, and you're like, oh man, I want to play other Epix Entertainment games... They have got lots and lots of games for us to, to enjoy. Now you can see some of these series, they, they actually took over for other developers. So this was one they took over. Uh, this is one of their originals. Uh, this one, of course, Dark Parables, they took over this one. And anyway, so like here we're going to be playing Dead Reckoning. So yes, I have played the Silver Moon Isle and I have played Brassfield Manor. They are all about the murder mystery for sure. This is one series I have not touched at all. Or maybe I've played one. I can't recall exactly. But anyways, um, lots and lots. I love the Hidden Expedition ones. They're all about like history and I think that's pretty clever the way they incorporate that. And I haven't played this one, too many of these. I'm not even sure if I've played any of these. So many games to play. When I actually saw this I was like I can make a checklist. Now I know exactly which games I want to play next. So anyways, uh, that's that. We're not going to waste any more time. We're going to hop right into this. Let's hit that play button and get started. So we've got ourselves the PI, or what I like to call the PI difficulty. Detective, Inspector, lots and lots of custom options. So we're going to go with the PI option. And let's go. Unit 307, come in. We just got a report of a body found at Crescent Carnival. I want you to check it out. You've got a great track record with this type of case. I know you'll do a bang-up job on this one. Your new partner's already there. He's a good kid, so go easy on him, okay? And be careful. So we have our choices as per usual. We've got the full tutorial for the beginners, special features for the intermediate, and no tutorial for the experts. So what do you folks think here? Do you think we're beginner, intermediate, or are we expert? What do you guys think? What should I pick here? Ah, uh, yes, pi does equal 3.14 plus a bunch of other stuff. So you want me to go with the uh, special features? Okay, we'll do that. This is the place, and that must be my new partner. 
Uh, I don't actually think this game is meant to be scary. I, Mystery Case Fall Swell, I thought that was pretty cool. Not overly scary and like true fears, but it was uh, had a nice amount of creep to it, that's for sure. Alright, let's find out what these folks have to say for themselves. I can see the Ferris wheel in the background. I think we've got murder. Wow, it really is you. I read all about the Brassfield Manor case. You did some great work. Well, I thank you. So it is a continuation of the story. Oh, the well, body. Right. It's over there by the entrance. White male, mid-40s. No witnesses yet. Yeah, I, I, it's not so much a continuation of the story, but a continuation of the character. I asked the manager to identify the victim. Maybe you can talk to him. Find out what he knows. Here's the forensics kit you wanted. Well, I thank you. He's actually quite a handsome detective. A little, little bit of facial hair going on there. Got the... Are those blue eyes? Can't quite tell on my screen, but... Handsome. Handsome detective partner. Yeah, I like his fedora as well. Hello, secret detective. Hello, Amber. Welcome to the live stream. Hello, hello. Uh, let's see here. I, what we should figure out, first of all, is what are our collectibles. So... Actually, I do like the moon. It's kind of neat. Let's have a look at our guide. Try not to look at the title of the chapters, because those can be a bit of a spoiler. Alright, so it looks like we've got something here, here, and here. So what would that be? Oh, it's a scale thing. Okay, so there you go, folks. You guys that are watching live, don't forget, as part of the agreement you signed up for is helping me with the collectibles. So go ahead, if you do spot one of these collectibles, I guess they're going to look like scales, uh, go ahead and let me know in the chat, and that would be lovely. So there is collectible number one. I just need to do something here quickly. There we are. Okay, so we got... Is that actually a dead body? What is that down there? Oh, that's okay, Jen. You know, help out as much as you can. The collectible is a scale uh, Black Raven. The new guy is always super suspicious. I know, I know. we got to be careful of him. New guy. But that's the total thing with Hopus, right? No trust anyone. So we've collected a place item. Place items can be examined further and even combined. After I finish my examination, the coroner will claim the body. That happened in the last game too, I remember. They had the coroner collecting the body. So I guess this is my detective batch. Your Gibbs is a detective! Love it. What else is on this bench? Nothing. Oh, I should let him know I am a detective. I am totally a detective. Oh, was that actually brown eyes? I couldn't tell. This is just terrible. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Edward Grimwell, the manager of this carnival. That poor man. No, I don't recognize him. But I hope you find whoever is responsible for this. Now, if you'll excuse me, the show must go on. He doesn't seem upset at all over this whole issue. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Most managers would cancel the show after something like this. Not Mr. Grimwell. The show has to go on. Oh, hi Marlin, welcome to the live stream. Hello, hello. Yeah, that felt a little tiny bit suspicious to me as well. This clown might be my only witness. He barred the gate behind him. Suddenly, I don't feel so welcome here. Oh, look at the kitty cat up here. Hello, kitty cat. Alright, let's look at the body. Murder! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. He's like all pale, too. Hey, what am I doing here? What is this? Forensics kit. Uh, what am I stabbing him with this thing? What is this thing? Oh, it's checking his temperature. The body is still warm. The murder didn't happen more than an hour ago. Oh boy, we are definitely going to be poking and prodding at this guy. Ah. Uh, 
I think the clowns did it. It's all the clowns' fault. Got stuff a little bit of evidence. So this has definitely got a 1940s, 1950s vibe to it. I don't know if you guys feel that way as well, or is it just my imagination? Oh wow, look at his nails. Possible poisoning, swollen tongue, time of death. Oh. Urgent telegram. Our victim received a telegram. So where is it? Grimwell Brothers Traveling Company dinner voucher. This voucher is good for one. Neil, employee number 18. So he's an employee. Aha! Wow! Mr. Grimwell didn't even notice this guy was the employee of his? Jeez, Mr. Grimwell is quite the heartless manager. Okay, what else can we look at? Got some sort of puncture wound there. Let's measure it. It's 0.5! Too small! There's no way this wound would have killed him, but it still might be connected to his death. Are we done? Oh, look at this tongue sticking out! <laughs> That's gross! Ew! Are we done? Oh no, wait, what's this here? Hey, come over here. Well, these drag marks look like he was moved from over here. Well, there's a path leading up the hill. Why don't you check it out? Well, I'll stay here and secure the crime scene. Yeah, okay, handsome partner. How could I say no to that face? The murder could have happened somewhere else. It's worth a shot. So we're just going to leave the dead body here, are we? Alright, fine, we'll do that. Let's go to the Overlook. Sure, why not? Secluded and quiet. This looks like a perfect place for murder. <laughs> I might be hitting on the detective, just a tiny little bit. So apparently I have rings for some reason. It's a chest! Why would someone bury it out here? That hole is a perfect place to stash something. No wonder it was hidden. Oops, I must have left my flashlight in the car. I need to find another source of light. So we have a mechanical box here. What a peculiar face-shaped indentation. Oh, scale on the rocks, scale on the rocks. Thank you, collector alert. I think I'd like to have the partner come and keep me company. I think that's fair, no? Hello, birds. <gasps> that craven certainly looks like it's seen something. He's our only witness. He's our only witness. Or I guess there's a couple more witnesses over there too. The whole city is slowly going to sleep, but my night has just begun. Yeah, exactly. That Our partner had the flashlight. You should come with us. Ha <laughs> ha! Christmas lights? Aw, oh, now I feel like Alan Wake. What was the guy, the buddy there in Alan Wake, who uh, he wore the red winter coat, and he walked around at some point uh, with Christmas lights to keep the ghosties away. Okay, we got some glitter action. Let's go and take care of that. Yes. Clicky clicky time. This is an interactive hidden object puzzle. Find the objects in the scene based on the silhouettes in your inventory. Hello. It's locked. It's locked. Oh, actually that one wasn't locked. It's locked. It's locked. I feel like Nancy Drew. Everything's locked. I remember this from a chemistry class. It's used to heat up a chemical solution. I need a tool for this. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. I want Mr. Top Hat here. There we are. Yeah, we could be Nancy Drew in disguise. 
I, we all know that the voice actress for Nancy Drew, she actually has done several Epix uh, roles, voice acting roles. Especially, uh, I recall her in Off the Record, the one that took place in uh, Italy for sure. But yeah, she is actually uh, does a lot of voice acting for Epix. Alright, so we have a clown token. Hello! Chemistry! So apparently we need this. Ah, oh, here's our experiment here. Green goes there. Where do I want to put this? Aha! So... How do I... Um... I'm actually not sure. I should put green liquid in first. Okay. Mix that up. I, do you think we're making sulfuric acid? I guess we could be. Uh, what else can we do here? The formula says I should put the green liquid in the vial. Oh, here we go. Or not. Now we do this, and now we do that. Oh, you just graduated biochemistry? Cool! I have mentioned in the past that I uh, went to school for chemical engineering. A lot of fun, a lot of chemi chemical labs in chemical engineering. I even did biochemistry lab. I think I, in, I made nylon or something in biochem lab. A lot of fun. Uh, what else are we doing here? Spooning up some of this stuff here. Yes, bye district, we'll see you next time. And now I have some green stuff. Oh, hello there. A bottle opener. Hmm. The birds, anywhere I go, or everywhere I go, the birds. Okay, so what is a bottle I can open here? I don't think I can do this. Oh, we're gonna get a Bunsen burner too? Cool! I wanna do all sorts of Bunsen burner stuff. Oh, that's it right there, isn't it? Yes, thanks, Mike. And now we have ourselves some petroleum. But we need a Bunsen burner, though. Hmm. Not sure I'm supposed to get into... Oh, wait, there we go. That might help us with this. Definitely not a random hidden object puzzle. We got a lot of good stuff going on here. Got myself a Bunsen burner. <laughs> oh my gosh. I had so many labs with a Bunsen burner. Holy cow. Alright, let's go. Wait, what? No, I got it. Here we go. I got this. It's all black now. Acid. Yeah, I definitely think we made some uh, sulfuric acid. Someone tried to hide something in this package and they left all of the ingredients for me to find it again. Nice, nice, nice. So I've got myself a package. Whoa, what's that on the dart? It could be a murder weapon. Blow dart. All right, let's go talk to Handsome. Hey! Oh, see, the body's gone already. The body's... Oh, it's not. It's right here. 